What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Flair, and I am back with another banger, man. You already know how I'm coming, man. But today in this video, bro, I got a separate video for y'all, you know what I'm saying? In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my all-red paintings, bro. The build that I be taking to the comp stage, you know what I'm saying? Snagging, you know what I'm saying? Dumping on people, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. But make sure y'all get this video to 10 likes, bro. I seen y'all do it before, and I know y'all can do it again, you know what I'm saying? Just get this video to 10 likes, bro. And also, um... You know what I'm saying? Make sure you comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? My computer up. That's why I'm making all that noise and stuff. But make sure you comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And give me the 300. Bit 300 on the way. Just like I said, man. Let's get straight into it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get straight into it. So look, for this build, but you gonna have to be a power forward, but you gonna have to be a power forward. Don't make a center, bro. Like, cause these center builds be trash, all right? So don't make a center. You gonna have to make a power forward. Right, left hand don't matter. And, you know, I feel like right hand best for me, so you might want to pick right hand. And you're gonna have to be number 69, bro. Or your bill is not gonna be snagging on none of that, bro. It's not gonna be snagging on none of that. Alright, so continue. The pie chart that you're gonna want to use, bro, don't use none of these other pie charts, bro. Like, what's the point? You can, well, actually, you can make a red blue, but nah, not for comp stage. So you're gonna want to make an all red pie chart, bro. All red pie chart paintings, bro. And then for your physical profile, you wanna wanna choose the agility, vertical, and strength, bro. The, just a little bit of agility. So basically, the agility and the vertical are almost match. And then a little bit of strength. Trust me, bro. You don't need that much strength, bro. I'm telling you, you still gonna set your big bodies and everything, bro. So look. For your upgrades, bro, you gonna you already know, bro. Just go down to the defense, max out the rebound. You gonna have a 95 rebound, 95 offensive rebound. Uh, max out your block, max out your max out your steal, max out your lateral quickness, bro. Basically, just max out everything in the red, bro, because it's gonna be an all red field anyway. All right, so you are gonna front go from the bottom to the top, basically. So then you wanna go right here to playmaking, bro. I know you, I know this not, might not seem right, bro, to put playmaking on a paint piece. But look, what you gonna do if you wanna be a comp paint piece, bro? You gonna have to put up post moves and pass accuracy, bro, so you can get them. Oh, John, what am I, what am I doing? What am I doing? You gonna have to put up your pass accuracy, bro, to a 74 and a 61. And if you try to take one off, bro, it's not gonna work because it's still gonna put you back down to two. You want three for that quick first step bag, bro. You don't want to mess with this for real, cause I see I, I have seen some uh, paint beats where they put the um mid range up, but it's really no point. Cause you don't get shooting bags for real. All right, so now you are gonna go to the finishing, bro. For the finishing, put your driving up to an 83, because at 99 you gonna have contact dunks. Even before that, I think. Yeah, I think. But then you can go to driving layup, max that out to close shot. Uh, max that out too for right now. Stand it up, max that out too. And then post, post hook shot, you can uh, just put that up to 33. All right, bet. So this this looks straight, this looks straight, this looks straight. So you're going to have 13 finishing, one shooting, three playmaking, and 30 defensive. Let me see if I can make this better a little bit. See if I get some more finishing. I don't really think I can, low key. Cause this all this is max. Yeah, you you gonna have to have all this max. I mean you don't have to, but it's gonna be the best way. I mean 13 finishing straight too, so we should be straight. We should be straight. All right, bet. So the body build that you wanna pick, bro. I mean it really don't matter, but bro, I would go. I would definitely go with Burley, bro. So you can set the biggest bodies of your life, man. You have to go with Burley if you wanna set big bodies. You know what I'm saying? And then. For this build, bro, you gonna want to go six nine, bro. Six nine, bro. I mean, you could go six eight. I don't, I don't think six eight that good. I mean, it's straight and all, but I go with six nine. You don't want to go six ten, bro, cause then your player gonna be moving all slow and jump. And I don't even think, like, you gonna have to hit ninety nine to get contact dunks. But when you six nine, you get contact dunks before ninety nine. You know what I'm saying? So I think to get contact dunks on this build, you gonna have to be a 96 or 97, something around there, bro. And then once you once you hit that, bro, all your defensive stats can go up, your lateral quickness, all that jump gonna go up too, bro. So this is why this build is so good. 611 trash. I mean, 95, like everything 
from 6'9 is good, bro. It's, everything gonna stay neutral. 6'10, perimeter defense go down, lateral quickness go down, still go down, but like it's really bad from all that because standing dunk like really don't matter for real. And 6'9, contact dunks, just like I said. So yeah, you wanna go 6'9, bro. You already know you gotta go. Hmm, don't go max weight. Do not go max weight. You wanna go 271, bro. Yeah, 271. It's gonna up your interior defense, and it's only gonna take two points away from your lateral quickness. So you still gonna be able to move around how you want to, bro. And for the wingspan, you wanna go max wingspan, bro. Cause you gonna, you know what I'm saying? You gonna be snagging, you know what I'm saying? You gonna be snagging them boards and stuff like that. And look, for your takeover, I'll go with uh, glass team takeover this year, bro. I go with glass team takeover. Uh, Cause I don't really like mess with rim take uh, takeover, bro. I mean, it really don't matter what you pick, but I go with glass takeover, bro. Alright, so, right here, you're gonna get a paint beast. And the people that you're gonna be swimming to is Dennis Rodman, Anthony Davis, and Zion, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna go to Texas Bill. We're gonna get straight into the badges, man. Alright, so now that we in the badges, man, I'm gonna show y'all what badges I use on my paint beast, bro. So, the badges that I use is, for finishing, I'm gonna use, I use Slither Finisher. Go relentless finisher. Go uh, contact finisher. Go consistent finisher. Go let me see what else. What else? What else? What else? And it's only one. So uh, I'll probably use mm, put that balls, whatever. Oh no, pick and roll. Pick and roll. Pick and roll. Oh, I forgot my own. Um, what's it called? Lob City finisher. Oh no, oh no. You putting Lob City finisher and putting that. On browns, man. So this is gonna be the back there that you want to have, bro. Cause I thought I can get 15 finishing on this build, but I think I only get 13. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what you gonna want to have, bro. Slither finisher really don't matter like that, anyway. So you gonna have lobby finisher go, consistent finisher go, uh, contact finisher go, and relentless finisher go, man. And silver finisher, slither finisher, bronze. And then for this right here. For your shooting badges, you wanna go. You wanna have slip your off ball, bro, so you can like get off the screens faster and roll to the paint faster. And for right here, you gonna wanna have a uh, quick first step. Where is it? Where is it? Quick first step, go, man. I mean, you could put unpluckable if you want, but I put I choose uh, quick first step, go, man. So then for your, alright, so this for your defense, but y'all gotta have the right defensive badges, bro. Cause you can't be selling no defense. So for defense. I go rebound to the Hall of Fame. You already know. Rim protect the Hall of Fame. Uh, brick wall Hall of Fame. Chase down artist Hall of Fame. Defensive leader Hall of Fame. Uh, Timmy Hall of Fame. You already know. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Pogo stick Hall of Fame. So then you got two left, and then I use worm silver. I mean, cause you're not gonna get worm every time. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna get worm every time. So you really had just had that lucky chance to get worm, and you know what I'm saying? Snag up. All right. So those the bag is done. You know what I'm saying? This right here. You know what I'm saying? Take your screenshots. Take your screenshots. Sleep it off ball bronze. Quick first step go. And then this right here, man. Brick wall Hall of Fame. Chase down hardest Hall of Fame. Intimidator Hall of Fame. Pogo stick Hall of Fame. Defensive leader Hall of Fame. Worm Hall of Fame. Rip the Hall of Fame. And rebound chase the Hall of Fame. So you're going to have seven Hall of Fame, one silver, and one gold, one bronze, four gold, and one bronze. So this is going to be the best comp paint these for the stage, man. If you want to rack up your VC in the stage, this is the build that you're going to want to use, man. Because it's the best build. For the comp stage, man. So, this has been your boy Flay, man. And I'm out. You already know how I'm coming, man.